In Gato 4, the directional light 3D node is a type of light 3D node and is the most basic light type for 3D game development. Adding a directional light 3D node to your scene will create a directional light, which emulates light coming from far away, like light coming from the sun. Because the light comes from a large distance, it models an infinite number of parallel rays coming from the direction of the source. Unlike other light types, the location of the directional light in world or local space has no effect on the light. The direction of the light rays are determined by the node's rotation and forward direction. And because the direction of each ray of light is the same, rendering directional lights is easier and therefore faster than other light types. Once added to your 3D scene, you'll find additional node settings in the Inspector tab. The most basic settings reside under Light 3D Light. Here you can set the color of your directional light and the energy or how bright your light is. Indirect energy is used in Voxel GI and SDF GI, which are more advanced global illumination settings. Higher indirect energy increases the number of light bounces when a light ray hits a surface. For example, with SDF GI turned on in a world environment node, we can see the change in indirect light as we adjust our light setting. The volumetric fog energy affects how the directional light interacts with the volumetric fog setting found in the world environment node. With volumetric fog on, increasing the volumetric fog energy value will cause the light to interact with the fog more or less dramatically. The angular distance refers to the angular size in degrees of how big or small the light source is. Increasing the angular distance will soften shadows. For instance, setting this value to 0.5 to emulate the angular distance of the sun will give a more realistic softened shadow look. You won't see any shadows, however, unless you enable shadows in the directional light shadow settings. Sky mode refers to the light's visibility when paired with a world environment node. The sky created by the world environment node will use the first directional light 3D node in your scene tree as its reference for the sun. Sky mode allows you to toggle visibility of the directional light and its sun-like representation in your sky. Directional shadow houses shadow map options related to parallel split shadow maps or PSSM. PSSM is a shadow rendering technique that creates splits in the shadow map or different degrees of shadow map resolution, depending on the distance from the camera. This comes at a slight performance cost, and for beginners, most of these settings will be best left alone, but three options can make a difference in your scene with some slight adjustments. If you find that your shadows have very clear breaks in quality, you can turn on the blend splits option to create smoother transitions at a moderate performance cost. Depending on the size of your scene, you can also adjust the max distance value. Higher values will render shadows further away at reduced resolution overall, while lower values can increase the shadow quality when your scene is small. Finally, Fade Start will adjust the distance at which shadows begin to fade. Fading shadows sooner can increase performance, but also create a noticeable shadow pop-in effect. To increase shadow quality or performance for directional lights, you can do a couple of things, remembering that increase in quality usually means decrease in performance. In project settings, with advanced settings on, go to rendering and light and shadows. You can change the directional shadow pixel resolution and the soft shadow filter quality. Lower resolutions will greatly reduce shadow quality, with higher resolutions doing the opposite. Hard shadows will create sharper shadow lines, but with increased jaggedness, while the highest setting, Ultra Soft, will soften these lines, but can introduce some shadow artifacts at the beginning of your shadow. But by adjusting the pancake size in our directional shadow settings to a lower value, you can kind of offset this effect. You can find the link to the demo project used for this video in the description. Leave a like if you made it this far, comment if you have a question, and as always, keep creating.